It's kind of a do or die thing today. Give me the machete. That is. One man and one woman for 21 days. In some of the harshest environments on the planet. Fire! Well, outdoors, it's just where I grew up. I usually am the first to get naked at a pool party. I don't even know how many people have seen my Oh, I wish I hadn't have said that. Are you kidding me? I gotta go out in the middle of nowhere and build forts and spears and stuff? This is every American boy's dream, right? I'm an outgoing, adventurous, pedal to the metal, like to do stuff people don't like to do type of guy. I'm a strong uh, hunter. Okay, I guess this is what I've been waiting for. I really don't know what I'm getting myself into. Naked and not afraid yet. So I'm gonna make like Zeus and release the Kraken, huh? Do it. Honestly, the whole nudity thing doesn't bother me at all. And I look good, man. Enjoy the view, ladies. Yeah. This is the point of being out here, is, is being one with nature and having my way with Mother Earth, man. I'm gonna teach her a lesson. My biggest concern's my partner. That is my biggest concern. I want a tough chick, and you know, I hope she's attractive, because I gotta spend 21 days looking at her. Hello there. Hey. You're my partner in crime, huh? <laughs> I'm Steven. Shalise. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that right over there? I've, I haven't seen a <laughs> in a while. <laughs> I completely just stared at his and I, that's all I could focus on. I didn't even know what his face looked like. I just right to that. I'm not a nut. There you go. So. It's, it won't bite you. Okay, I, I, it'll be fine. I've kind of judged myself on the person that I'm becoming. Being able to open up to somebody else is going to be huge. Right. Deep in the southern U.S., the Alabama backwoods are unforgiving and harsh. Scorched by day, frequent thunderstorms can drop temperatures more than 50 degrees at night. Scavenging coyotes prey upon the weak, while Stephen and Shalise share the foreboding forest with 500-pound bears and toxic black widow spiders. This There's some thorns right Ooh. there. Just got to stick up my <laughs> Ooh, that's a thorny little guy. Yeah, be careful of that one. Ooh, you little <sighs> Makes me feel so much better cussing at him for some reason. <laughs> You! <laughs> you oh, want help you your... These things love me and they love my nipples. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, ow! You. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a potty mouth unless I'm in pain. So it makes you look hardcore, it's good. I don't need anything to make me look uh, hardcore. <laughs> I'm like you. All right. I think you don't know what you got yourself into with me. Oh, really? To be honest. Well, you preach to the choir, sister. She's got a mouth on her and she's funny and. I think we're gonna get along good. Time will tell. Oh, look at this. Yeah, here we go. Water. <laughs> I know, right? It's the best thing ever. Oh. High five. God, I want to bathe in it. I know. He's an attractive man. He's got a nice body. If I'm cold, I just want him to like, just get up all in this. It's all good if we get cold. I'm, I'm a cuddler. We can cuddle, cuddle all day. So this area, this, this is this it looks for good. tonight? Yeah, I'll get started on our elevatedness. We can pull all this out? Yeah. What we're going to do is just put up uh, an elevated sleeping platform, throw some bedding on there. Uh, hopefully, we can get a fire started. Yeah, that'll keep us through tonight, anyway. It won't be the most comfortable thing in the world, but it'll keep us off the ground. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. We got fire. That's huge. Woo! All right. First Feels fire, good. baby. First we fire got, of the trip. All right. Well, well earned, well deserved. Like literally, I'm like a, you in a yeah, girl's it's body. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But it just just happened. It was good. We lucked Easy. out. And I could very well have been completely different if I were partnered up with someone who I hated. Yeah, ditto. Because I don't put up with that. I don't either. I don't have patience no, for. I would have gone off on my own and been like, good luck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to move to my side. You're gonna slide it? Yeah. All right. I'll slide it too. You got your covered? Yep, yeah. covered. That's good. Uh, okay, I don't mind cuddling. I'm gonna cuddle it. Right. Okay, I'm gonna cuddle it. Yeah. 
Oops, I feel like it'll make me um, be at home or something. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, so I'm tired. Wild night. Wild, wild night. This little awesome ninja over here just like slapped an armadillo or something. <laughs> it was that was like right next to us. She took it like a champ last night. That sounded horrible. But uh, uh, with all the critters moving around and everything, she got her little pointy stick and was whipping around. Like a damn ninja. It was, I literally slept with it because it just made me feel better. It's tough out here, but we do have a really strong chemistry, and we do fit really well. I almost feel like we're the same person in a lot of ways. Like, I'm the girl version, he's the dude version. Maybe we just like being around ourselves. I don't know. My like, tummy's growling. Your tummy's growling? I'm not an experienced hunter. Steven is cocky. I haven't seen any hunting or anything from him yet. Um, I just hope he's not full of Shit. Nice. Oh my god, oh, I'm so hungry. When I saw it, I knew it was a king snake right off the bat. They eat other poisonous snakes, so I mean, they're pretty bad ass for a non venomous snake. You don't want to overcook it, but you gotta make sure it's done, or else. Yeah, we're good. What do you think? Mm. It's too hot? No, it's perfect. It's good, right? You know, he, he got the snake and, you know, he's a good hunter and he kicks ass. This guy's been an awesome partner. <sighs> Just thinking about food so much. Pretty hungry. Down this stream, I've gone north, south, east, and west, so I don't know. I just, I don't get it. It's disappointing. I mean, I know that they're out here, which pisses me off. God, I hope I get to use this on something big. God, I'm stab a butt in the face. It's crazy, man. You know, I've been so many places, I've never been anywhere where I haven't seen any squirrels, any rabbits. The only signs or tracks that I've seen are weeks old. Of a do or die thing today. Almost a week without any real protein sources. It's a lot of days. Be careful where you step, okay? That's a possum. A possum? I'm like kind of crying for this possum. I'll still eat it. I'm starving. Oh, well, really sad. That's nature. You, know? you don't feel bad? No, I don't feel bad. I'm out here surviving. Huh. Oh, yeah, this, this piece is definitely done. I don't know. That is bad. That is not good. Hmm. We probably burned a thousand calories getting this. It's gonna be aggravating if that's all, all for naught. Wow, that sucks. It does suck. It's now been 10 days since Stephen and Shalise's last significant meal. Their bodies are cannibalizing their remaining muscle mass for the energy needed to keep them alive, making them weaker and desperate. I saw movement. 
Oh. What? Look at that. Oh, holy It's a timber rattler. That is one of the most venomous snakes in North America right there. How do you want to do this? I want you to stay back, and I want you to let me do it. OK. OK. Give me the machete. Nice. Dinner! Tell you what, I feel more like a man than I ever have ever. Look at the heart. Still beating a little bit. Yeah. He's hot right in there. Oh, that meat looks so good. Oh, how does it taste? Way better than possible. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's good, right? It's not bad. It's so good. Isn't it? It is so good. Chewy chicken. The energy boost from that protein is incredible. You literally feel your body come back alive. Go, go. Where? Right, straight ahead. Oh, God, yes. Yes. Hey. This is such a great day. Hell yeah. Is it? Oh. It's very edible. It works great for cordage. Um, if you smash it up in some water, it can be used for soap. Big find. The stem of the yucca is edible, and it's really yummy. It's tastes, it's like it has a sweet, stocky taste. Awesome. Shampoo. I will wash the hell out of that woman's hair. I will make that woman's hair like the Oil of the Lake commercials. So all you uh, organic soap lovers, <laughs> doing it all wrong. Don't gotta buy that. Come out to Alabama, dig up some yucca, smash it with an antler. Good to go. Is it funny? Yeah. Yeah. I can hold the tip so it's funny. Hold the tip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're such perverts. <laughs> yeah, girl. I mean, you can really get in there and massage my head if you want. No, now you're getting just saucy here. That yucca soap is awesome. It worked way better than I thought it would. It sud sudded up and everything. Oh, this is amazing. And you know, honestly, getting a bath is a huge morale booster. And it's cool to know that you can do that out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, no. What? What? You're going to have to do this armpit for me. Oh, OK. You're lucky I like you. But not that hairy. It just shows a lot about his character. And it shows how compassionate he can be. And like a true friend, like a true friend would really do that. And I, I appreciate him for it. When I get home, the person I'm dating now is not going to be there, and that kind of sucks. That's a bummer. It's been an epic journey. I've learned more than I could ever learn. And I'm just ready. I'm ready to go home. You ready? I'm ready for this. Oh, I'm so happy to be going to be wearing shoes. My feet are pretty strong, but it's just really bad out here. So I'm going to try to just wrap some on the sensitive part of my feet, because that's what really hurts. Ready? I can't believe we have to go through this crap again. I'm hungry, and I'm tired. The thing that's keeping me going is knowing every single step I take is one step closer to hitting that extraction point. That big tree right there, that's got to be the tree. That's it. Come on. Oh. That's a tree on a hill, if I've ever seen one. Woo! That is intense, man. Oh. Oh, this was by far the toughest thing I've ever done. I'm, I'm Stephen Lee Hall Jr. I'm, I'm kind of a big deal, you know? But this blows everything I've ever done out of the water. I'm going to miss Shalice. It's like my little right hand oh. wingman. Oh, man. Will forever be engraved in my head. Great. You're welcome. I think he's forever impacted my life and changed my life for the better. We're just going to be lifelong friends. Woo! Not just for accomplishing this, but being proud of where I am in my life, being proud of who I am.